hi friends welcome this is ravi here in this video we are going to understand how to enable billwise accounts in tally prime application and also how to configure billwise details during the ledger creation how to split the outstanding amounts in two installments then what are the method of adjustments during the voucher passing is it clear so we will understand the installment procedure in tally prime in this video in the next coming video we will understand a practical session on installment so as of now this is just a configuration video so i'm just going to create a new company so after creating the company on immediate screen you will get a company features screen right where you can observe there is an option called as enable billwise entry if you wanted to maintain if you wanted to record and maintain installments in this tally application then you need to activate maintain billwise details or enable billwise entry yes then control a save if your company is already created then you will get this screen so in that time you press f11 and ensure to activate enable billwise entry yes that's it that is the first configuration that you have to done that's it the second configuration is disabling default building after activating billwise building again you need to stop default building if the default building is pre activated you cannot create installments so after enabling billwise feature you need to stop default building how on on tally main page just go to vouchers go to vouchers in the vouchers open sales voucher or purchase voucher then press f12 here you can find there is an option called as use default use default billwise details the option should be no so i repeat once again first you need to activate billwise details and the second thing is that ensure you already disabled default billwise the default billwise should be no and there in f11 billwise feature should be yes that's it so this is a second configuration that you need to configure control a save so first we activated billwise feature then we deactivated default billwise feature that's it so we have done two configuration and the third configuration is that while you are creating your customer or the vendor while you are creating your customer or vendor for example we are purchasing goods or we are selling the goods so when whenever you are creating your customer name or your vendor name it will ask you right for example we are selling goods to mr x so mr x mr x comes under sundry debtors so now the system is asking you about in the name of mr x would you like to maintain installments further or not if you wanted to maintain installments you need to activate a feature maintain balances bill by bill while you are creating the ledger for example while i am creating the ledger i have not activated control a save so this time i cannot create installments in the name of mr x if any ledger is already created simply keep your cursor on the respect to ledger then press control enter for immediate alteration then again go back and here maintain balances bill by bill yes right that's it or else you also can use a method a manual method simply go to alter select a ledger select mr x again here come back to the same screen here also you can activate the same feature manually that's it so once the billwise feature is activated to the customer so whenever you try to pass the voucher for example i'm creating sales sales account control you save i'm creating a product for example item 1 under the measurement of numbers so for example from this person purchasing around 10 quantizing item we are selling item 1 quantity 10 number of quantity the rate is at 1000 the total amount to be received from mr x the total amount to be received from mr x is 10000 then press enter enter and this 10000 is actually called as cost of 
goods and this 10,000 is actually known as cost of invoice. So, on cost of invoice, whenever you press enter, will it will ask you about the installment. So, we will understand what are the method of adjustments are available, right. So, here, see what is the first option advances. Just I am going to explain these four adjustments, then we will the next uh, video we will understand a practical session on the same. So, what is this advances? Before selling the goods or before purchasing the goods, before selling the goods or before purchasing goods, if you are making the payment towards your vendor or if you are collecting the payments from your customers before purchasing goods or before selling the goods whatever you paid whatever you collected in the receipt voucher or in the payment voucher that kind of amounts will be settled under advances right next against after receiving advances after receiving advances or after paying advances against the advances if you are selling the goods or if you are purchasing goods that outstanding amounts will be adjusted as against references. You have not paid any advances or you have not received any advances then the outstanding amounts in purchase voucher or in sales voucher will be settled under the method of new references to create new installments and this on account option will be used for the adjustments right.